Hey everyone, this is Rose and welcome to my random channel. This is going to be my February favorites. I've not done a favorites video since October of last year. And it's just going to be a random mixture of favorite skincare, random favorites. I'm sure there'll be some makeup in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Okay, I do have a few things that I want to talk about that I currently don't own anymore, so I'm going to throw up the images. All right, the first skincare product I'm going to talk about is the e.l.f. cleanser. It was something that I got for free, like a free gift with one of my last e.l.f. orders. Can't remember what the price is. Future editing rose, can you please put up the price? But it was a very affordable cleanser, and I was actually really impressed with the performance of it. I'm thinking if you're oily, dry, combination, normal, it should work perfectly fine with your skin. Now, it didn't necessarily do anything like magical, I would say, with my oily skin. Like, it didn't control the oil or nothing like that, or clear up acne. But for how cheap it was, I only needed very little product for it to create like a rich lather, which I'm a huge fan of. And it did a great job. Second thing I'm going to use, I feel really dumb because I can't remember the exact name, but it's by the amazing, very affordable skincare line called The Ordinary, and it's the highest percentage retinol serum. I think it's like 2.5%. comes in a dark bottle. I use that for a good two to three months consistently at night, and I would have to say it completely like changed my skin about along the same lines as you know a higher end retinoid would except I think it was only like six bucks if I'm wrong future editing rows will put up the price the ordinary is a great line I'm really interested in trying out more products if any of you guys have tried anything by the ordinary and highly would recommend it please leave it in the comments below but yeah, retinol is great for acne, for anti-aging, for improving the texture of your skin. For being how cheap it was, it performed really well. The Bioderma Micellar Water, I believe it was for sensitive skin. I fell in love with that stuff. Um, I was curious about all the hype, and the hype is real. That stuff worked amazing at removing my eye makeup, and you can see the type of eye makeup that I normally have. Did a great job of removing my eye makeup and removing my overall like makeup on my face. I definitely would not recommend you only using something like that and not washing your face afterward, but I will have to admit the nights that I had where I was too lazy to do anything else besides take a cotton pad and rub Bioderma all over my face. I actually went to sleep not as disturbed as, as I would be if I had used a different type of makeup remover. So, Bioderma, I definitely plan on repurchasing it. I'm currently testing out like a drugstore equivalent to it that I feel like is not as good. But the sensitive skin one, I highly recommend. I will admit that I'm really curious about the formulas for oily skin. Stay tuned for my thoughts on that product. The next product, I'm going to throw up another image, I've actually talked about in a previous video, which I can link up in the cards. It's by Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Uh, it's a lactic acid treatment. I've used it before. I've gone through many bottles, went through a bottle recently, was reminded of how much I love the product. It's a exfoliating treatment, works great if you have acne, hyperpigmentation, any type of texture to your skin, and large pores. It does create like a burning sensation whenever you put it on your skin, but it's like a good burn, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, Sunday Riley is a product line that is not cheap at all. It's really expensive. Very excited that Beautylish is now offering it because Beautylish actually offers monthly payments for certain purchases. But it is definitely something um, I do plan on repurchasing and continue to use because when I used it, I think I used it shortly after I ran out of the ordinary retinal treatment that I was using. Saw almost an immediate change with my skin. So, Sunday Riley Good Jeans, highly recommended. 
If any of you guys have been subscribers of mine for a while, just know me, you know that I am cheap AF. So if I'm willing to drop a pretty penny on a product, it has to be. Next thing, I'm gonna throw up an image simply because it is in my empties trash pile right now and I cut my tubes open. But it's the Bosha Peel Off Black Mask. I think it's called like, but it's basically one of those like kind of scary, borderline painful peel off black mask that you put on your face, you leave it off for 30 minutes and you basically have to peel it off. I know I've heard somewhere uh, from someone that I'm subscribed to that peel, that peel off masks are terrible. I don't know. I find them kind of therapeutic because when I can peel it off and see all the crap that's in my pores on the mask, I feel like I've done something. And I can think back to a few spa experiences I've had in my life where they use similar products. Is it really that bad? But Bosha, that black mask is amazing. I've used it for the past two months, I would say. And I'm not a huge like pore strip user, but it's basically like a huge pore strip for your face. I'm a believer in those type of products now because I can see all the dirt and grime come out of my pores after almost every single use. Highly recommend it. A tip if you decide to try it is to actually follow the directions. Make sure that you put on a thick opaque layer because for some reason when you put on a thin layer it hurts a little more when you peel it off but when you put on a thicker layer it doesn't feel as bad. Okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is a newer Sunday Riley product that I just started using. This is the Martian Mattify Melting Water Gel Toner. Again, I've linked uh, my Sunday Riley video up in the cards already. I'm a huge believer in her line. Again, I will reiterate that it is high AF. But this is like a, it's not a toner that I would recommend you use like with a cotton pad. I just rub this directly all over my face with my fingertips. And this helps control oil and it has ingredients in here that helps with acne, which me, I hate to say being in my 30s, I'm still, or actually I just start to experience adult acne when I turned 30, which is just odd. But this I do highly recommend, it's very gentle. I think this is mainly for oily to acne prone skin. This is a great toner. I've used this for a couple months now and actually I can kind of see how much I have used. Um, don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up. I can see it's like right here. Really great product. We'll definitely repurchase this once I run out. Again, I failed to say, any of my favorites that I can find links for, I will have down in the description box in case you're curious about learning more or actually purchasing the products for yourself. This next thing I got off of Amazon, it's by The Body Shop. This is tea tree oil. Just straight up all natural tea tree oil. This stuff is amazing. I would, rec I would say if you have oily to acne prone skin. Because what I do with this is I just open this up, put a drop of my finger, and I put it directly on the pimples and zits that I have. And within 24 hours, I see a huge difference in the size if it actually doesn't cause them to shrink down completely. Technically, these are the only two acne products I'm currently using right now. And even though my face is still not perfectly clear, it's not as bad as it used to be. So definitely recommend this. Um, tea tree oil can be kind of strong. And so I would recommend if you've never used anything with tea tree oil before, of course, when you initially try it, try it on like one teeny tiny spot. And if your skin doesn't freak out right after, then I would say it's safe for you to use. The next thing is the latest product that Influencer sent me. I will put that video up in the cards as well. This is the L'Oreal Revitalith Seca Cream. I know how to pronounce it now in case you saw that video. This is basically a drugstore retinol treatment. Um, it has like the special Asian tiger grass or something that, that ancient Asians use to heal skin with. But anyway, 
I've been using this consistently since I've posted that video, so it's probably been about two months now. And I would have to say the texture of my skin has definitely improved. Even though this is not an acne product, it has retinol, which, which helps with acne. So I guess I should have included it with these two products right here as for treating my acne. But I have to say this has definitely helped. Um, my skin definitely feels more smooth. Like I said, the texture is improved when I wake up in the morning. My skin actually doesn't look as bad as it used to. So again, this is drugstore. It's not as affordable as that ordinary product I talked about earlier. But if you're looking for like more of a cream type texture, I would highly recommend this. <laughs> Go ahead and apologize now if my air conditioner is distracting, but it is extremely hot in my apartment right now with these lights on. Uh, the next category I'm gonna talk about are just random favorites. Or I have a few other random favorites to talk about like movies and TV shows and stuff like that, but these are just random items. First thing is this little thing that I have on the back of my phone. Yes, I finally fell into the whole pop socket trend this galaxy one i just got off of amazon it was like five bucks and i have to say these things are pretty useful especially for my tiny hands and for my phone being as large as it is um is useful for holding but also for propping on a table like when i'm at lunch at my real job uh, this thing very happy to have the next thing, I'm gonna throw up an image because I actually just ran out of them. But this is for my headache slash migraine sufferers out there who are Excedrin fans. For some reason, Excedrin, the medicine, is the only painkiller that will relieve my headaches and migraines that are from the drugstore. Well, Amazon sells, and I believe this is the same brand that's sold at Walmart. I think it's Equate. Again, I'll throw up an image. Excedrin is not cheap, but you can get the Equate version off of Amazon and probably at Walmart as well for so much cheaper. Has the same ingredients, caffeine and acetaminophen in it. Works great at relieving my headaches. If you would give me a couple of those tablets and tell me it's Excedrin, I would take it. I would honestly think it's Excedrin. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, I would highly recommend those. The next thing I've actually talked about in a previous favorites video, probably a couple of years ago, is the stock, just realized this has 40 milligrams of caffeine. For some reason, I thought these only had 20. But these are coffee powered caffeine shots. They actually have a warning to limit two um, in your coffee. And you can actually, you can take these straight up I will admit that I've done three before, and I kid you not, when I did three, my eyes started to twitch. But if you're not a morning person like me, and you have a nine to five job that makes you wake up so early in the morning, or just any job that makes you wake up at the crack of dawn, and if you're just not a morning person, and if you drink coffee, I highly recommend these shots. Coffee, I've actually, only started drinking maybe five years, well, probably four years ago. And I actually got to a point where a basic cup of coffee really did nothing. And just because I didn't want to have to go to Starbucks or any other coffee chain and spend like five bucks getting like espresso shots added to my coffee. Amazon sells like a box of these that has like 200 to 300 of these shots for like 20 something bucks on Amazon Prime. These work great. If I'm running late, I will just grab a couple of these, take them directly. Of course, they taste horrible. But if I have time in the morning, I will, I will actually add a couple of these to my coffee that I make. And I have fantastic energy for like two to four hours with no crash. So, but anyway, these stock coffee powered caffeine shots, highly recommend them. And then the last random item that I'm gonna talk about that's a favorite, I could show you right now. It's plugged in right over there, but just because I have this like new setup going on and my camera is actually on a tripod right now, I'm just gonna insert an image, but it's my Himalayan salt lamp. 
I will put up in the cards the Vlogmas vlog where I actually um, hauled the lamp. I feel like since I've had it in my apartment, there's been quite a difference in with uh, my energy levels and also my sleep deprivation. I am an insomniac, if, in case you don't know, and I actually do feel like this lamp has helped with my sleeping, mainly because I have passed out in my living room when I've had this thing on with no sleeping pills, slept for 68 hours. Don't think it's a placebo effect because it's done it more than once almost every single time that I've had this thing on, and I'm sensitive to light as well. But Himalayan salt lamps, um, they're known to be like air purifiers, making the negative ions and stuff in the air go away. Research it if you like, uh, if you're a skeptic, but I actually am not a skeptic anymore. I'm very happy that I found this. Um, I think I bought mine from Kirkland's for, it was on sale during Christmas for like 10 or $15. But if I could find a link to that or Better yet, a link on Amazon. I'll put it down in the description. Okay, I'm gonna get to the category that probably the majority of my subscribers are interested in, and that is makeup. The first thing I'm gonna talk about, of course, I don't have. Um, I actually went through two samples of it, fell in love with it, Currently testing and the ordinary dupe for it. Not really sure how I feel, but I'll put an image up. It's the Benefit Professional. Never used it before. Have been recommended it for the longest time for my oily, textured, big pore skin, and it worked beautifully. I actually felt like some of my pores appeared to be minimized, and then my makeup lasted so well all day when I used it. Once I go through all my primer samples, that is something that I'm definitely going to purchase and take advantage of. Benefit Professional, highly recommended if you're oily like me, if you have big pores, and if you have a lot of texture. Next thing is a lip product, and it's by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Naked Nude. Focus. Focus. Uh, these have a very interesting applicator. It reminds me of, it reminds me of almost like a Barbie foot. But this is actually a lip color that I have on right now. Very nice nude, uh, high shine like in the title. Very affordable. I'll put up how much these are. Elf, a very excellent lip product. Uh, another lip product I like are the Julep Matte Lip Mousses. If you're subscribed to Emily uh, Noel83, she's done uh, quite a few videos on these. These are by Julep, which is which originally was known for its nail polishes, but now they have makeup and skincare that I've actually I've talked about previously on my channel. But these are great. These are matte liquid lipsticks. They actually have a moussey texture, stay on all day so well. Have so many different shades are highly pigmented. I think Oprah talked about them maybe last Christmas as one of her favorite things. But anyway, these have a very interesting like hourglass applicator. You can see that. These I highly recommend. I know the times I've worn these, even after eating, I only had to apply or reapply very little. Worked really well. The next thing is a recent purchase that actually I have fallen in love with. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Finish Setting Spray. I believe this is fairly new because I've used the other setting spray and actually I really liked it. Very affordable. I feel like it definitely helps with my oily skin and I, allowing my makeup to last. I'm going to tell you guys it's 11 o'clock right now. I've done very little touch-ups throughout the day. I did my makeup originally at like six o'clock this morning, so it's been 17 hours. The next thing uh, includes two products, and it basically is my new eyebrow routine that I've alluded to. I used to always use just brow pencils. Very frustrating when you run out 
all of a sudden because I have no eyebrows, people. And so I got inspired, <laughs> more like I just wanted to be cheap and decided to use a taupe eyeshadow and a shadow brush. This is one of those like really cheap Morphe palettes. This is the 3, 350M, I think it's what it's called, or 35OM, something like that. This is like the matte warm shades. And the shade that I normally use for my brows is actually this one and sometimes these two. And I do my brows along with this Lexi Beauty Brush. This is the 215 Small Angle. I think I got this like in an Ipsy bag. But I'm satisfied with how my brows are. And believe I'm going to continue with this and not invest in a brow pencil. Hopefully never. <laughs> the next thing is gonna be a Holy Grail product. I, ooh, did you see that? I originally wanted to do a review on this and as you see, I have not done that. But this is the Urban Decay Velvetizer. This stuff is amazing. Um, I don't mix this in with my foundation. It's a mix-in medium that you're supposed to mix in with foundation. I actually use this to set my foundation concealer in the morning in my oily T-zone. This stuff is phenomenal. My face is so greasy. Um, I've done foundation reviews in the past. I think the last one I ever did was like the Maybelline Fit Me Matte. And if you watch that video, you can see how oily my face can get. But this stuff is amazing. I can go hours of not having a blot or powder in my face. This stuff is awesome. It's not cheap. It's about $34 for this little jar. I think I've had this for two months though. And again, I only use this in the oily areas on my face and on my under eyes. This stuff works great. If you're oily, please check it out. I feel like not enough people talk about it. The next thing I got in a birch box and you can't really see it, but it's an eyeliner pencil by Artisy N. Supercharged eyeliner. And of course it's in black. This stuff is amazing. I would say it's not waterline proof, like it will smudge on your waterline on your under eyes. But besides that, it's very rich black. Stays on very well on the upper eyes. Me being oily, eyeliners tend to run and I've been very happy with how this has performed so far on my eyes. It's the eyeliner that I have um, on top of my shadow right now. The next thing I actually just recently invested in, I have a really old how to use a beauty blender video that was filmed like on a webcam, which I can link up in the cards. But I've gone back to using the beauty blender. Cannot believe I went so long not using one. These things work great. Mine is filthy, so you can see that I've actually been using it. But this just creates just a seamless, like, blended application of, like, your foundation and your concealer. I feel better than any brush I've ever used. And then the last thing is an oldie but goodie that I've just started to use again. I actually mix it with the current foundation that I'm testing out right now just because I'm actually not a huge fan of the L'Oreal True Match that I'm using. So I actually, I mix in this. It's the Revlon Color Stay for oily combination skin. 24 hour wear, something that I'm never gonna test because please don't go to sleep with your makeup on. Wash it off before you go to sleep. But this is an oldie but goodie. Um, will forever love this stuff. Uh, I use 350 Rich Tan. I can put my review up in the cards. This foundation will last all day. Uh, I think it helps with my oil a little bit. You can build it up to full coverage, has an SPF 15, a great drugstore long wear foundation. Now since I've not filmed a favorites video since October, I want to talk about some really old movies that I've liked. Uh, really enjoyed Thor, Ragnarok. I actually think out of all the three, it's my favorite, which is rare when it comes to a trilogy. Thought it was hilarious, thought the action was great. I enjoyed it. Another would be the Justice League. Me being kind of, if you don't know, 
me well. I'm actually a huge video game and comic book fan. I've been one since I'm, I've been a fan since I've been a child. Met Stanley at Dragon Con a few years ago. So I gotta admit, when it comes to DC, I, I enjoy Batman. I have an affinity for the Joker. I've been the Joker twice for Halloween already. Still have not filmed a tutorial for that, but maybe eventually. But you know, I kind of went being kind of eh about it. Ended up really enjoying it. Next thing is a movie that's gotten like not great reviews from some diehard fans. Uh, Star Wars, The Last Jedi. I enjoyed it. Now I am like not a hardcore Star Wars fan, but I've seen all the movies, all the classic ones. Growing up, my parents had the VHSs of like Return of the Jedi and all the original ones from the 70s and 80s. I enjoyed it. Not just because it had and introduced a new Asian female character by the name of Rose. I was surprised by all the comedic moments, but me kind of being a comedy lover, I liked it. Now there were a couple moments where I was like WTF. Uh, I'll just refer to one and hopefully not spoil anything. But Princess Leia's moment when she's basically basically like supermaning it out in outer space. And I kind of have some theories about the next one that's going to come out. Uh, but I'm going to keep it to myself because I don't want to ruin it for people that still have not seen the movie. The only music favor I have, I've discovered through Spotify. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this artist's name correctly. And honestly can't tell if they're male or female. Not that that matters. But Borns... I'll put the name up, American Money, Overnight Sensation, Holy Ghost. I will link those music videos down below if you care to check them out. A very catchy, kind of hypnotic, entrancing sounding voice. The artist is very androgynous. Again, I can't tell if the lead is male or female, but anyway, Borns, check them out. Few video games that I've enjoyed recently. I've finally played Life is Strange, what I wish Telltale was. Finished that, did Before the Storm, looking forward to the bonus episode that's supposed to be released in March. Great video game, um, kind of like, you know, choose your own path type video game. And to go along with that, I played Guardians of the Galaxy, and then of course, the, the second season of Batman, which I'm actually currently uploading my gameplay on my channel. <music> Talk about is Alyssa Trahan. Um, I've gotten recently into astrology. If you're curious about it, definitely check her channel out. She's very blunt, very hilarious with it. And unfortunately, she's not active with it anymore, but still, Check out her channel if you care to learn more. I had no idea that there was more with your astrological uh, makeup than the sun sign, the one that you're born into. And since watching her videos and reading through her blogs, I've just been enlightened more onto like things about myself and people in my life. But she used to be Alyssa. I don't really understand. I think Alyssa Sharp was like her maiden name because if you go to her Facebook or Instagram, Trahan I think is what's on there, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I'll link her channel down below. And the only app I have to talk about is Airbnb. Uh, I've been using it for the last three years, I would say and stayed in the first two hotels I've stayed in in three years in the last three months. But anyway, it's where you get to rent out people's houses, rooms, parts of their houses, apartments when you travel. And definitely more affordable than what hotels can offer. But anyway, I actually had an issue with them recently. I have a credit on my account from someone actually booking their first stay through one of my referral links, which I can put down below. And they give you like a, basically a year to use it up. 
and I actually went in to book something for next month and my credit was not there. And apparently Airbnb is not notorious for having a crappy customer service because on the site and on the app, they have like troubleshooters, but there's like nowhere blatant that tells you a phone number or an email address. And I actually had to Google it. But anyway, the person I connected to, they tried to sign into my account, gave up after a couple minutes, and he actually gave me a credit that was bigger than the credit that I was supposed to have. That's good for another year. So, from my only customer service experience, I have nothing but positive things to say. So Airbnb, if you're skeptical, I recommend you to check it out, especially if you're a cheap traveler like me. Now, if you would like me to do a video giving you tips on how to use it or something, leave it in the comments. Again, I've been using it for the last three years. Only stayed in a hotel recently um, in September, October, and actually a couple weeks ago because I was with people that wanted to stay in a hotel. And the last favorite I'm gonna talk about uh, involves the vlog that I just uploaded. Uh, I guess my favorite memory, since my last favorite videos would be my trip to Athens. One of my old college friends, I met him my sophomore year of college, which was forever ago, finally got married, and it was just great hanging out with him. Has one of the best families I've ever known. Awesome family. I got to reconnect with him and his family and with uh, one of my other college friends who actually I talk to on a regular basis, uh, Christina, talking about you in case you see this video. But anyway, I had a great time. Out of respect for him, I didn't really document a lot of the actual ceremony, but if you watch my blog, you'll get to see some of the things that we did. And actually, if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you would have already seen a lot of it. But Athens, Georgia was great to go up there. Had not been there in like 14 years since like my party college days. Basically very reasonably priced and not like exorbitantly expensive for being a college town. But anyway, Athens, Georgia, I recommend you check it out. Of course, unless you're an Alabama or Auburn fan. But again, this is gonna be it. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video and with the recent YouTube changes, I'm hoping that I'm allowed to put up a long video. But if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. And again, any links I can find to any of the things that I've talked about, I will put them in the description. And again, this is it. Again, this is Rose. And thank you so much for watching this crap. If you found this at all helpful or entertaining, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and become a part of my random family. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications. And I'm also a huge advocate for supporting my fellow smaller channels and so if you're a small channel like me and you if you subscribed i will absolutely check your channel out check your channel out and subscribe back but anyway until next time i hope you all have a great day and you will see me again hopefully very soon